Should you store precious metals, gold, silver, platinum, as prepping supplies? Stay tuned. This is a disclaimer. This video only covers my views and I'm not making this video to criticize those who do or do not store gold or silver. Please watch the entire video. So why is gold valuable? Well, it's valuable because people perceive it to be valuable. It really doesn't have that much intrinsic value. Um, gold is basically used, I believe, in jewelry, you know, for ornamentation and, of course, for investment. And I think only 10% is used in industry. So really only 10% has intrinsic value. But the monetary systems are based on it and I sure wish uh, the U.S. dollar was still based on the gold standard. So it has been a monetary standard for a long, long time. So the question is, should you have gold in your prepping supplies? And I'd like to talk about that a bit. Now gold is scarce. You don't find it everywhere. It cannot be duplicated other than in nature. And there are scientific ways to find out if something really contains gold or not. So that's one of the things that makes it a good backing for currency. And again, it has value because we perceive it to have value. Now, if you walk on the street and ask people, what's the value of this gold coin? Or how much is an ounce of silver worth? Most people, unless they also invest in gold and silver, won't be able to answer that question. Of course, they'll go to their phone and go on Google and find the answer. But if we had a true SHTF situation, I mean a really, really bad one, then we probably wouldn't have the internet available. And what would be the value of gold, if anything? Now, I do want to preface this with, let's say if we looked at World War II and Jews were trying to get out of Germany, you know, Nazi Germany, and they hid uh, gold uh, coins and jewelry in their hems and diamonds and things like that, because the idea was they could trade this to possibly get an exit out of Nazi Germany. But, in that time, gold was valuable because still the rest of the world considered it to have value. So if there was that type of situation, a war situation, gold and silver both might have value. But if you had a Mad Max situation where, I mean, everything just goes, you know, the economy's gone, everything, maybe it was a terrible pandemic, whatever, and you go in and you need to buy some supplies, Anyone believe you that, hey, this coin here, worth $1,800 or $1,700 or whatever, the current standard, instead, would they just look at you and laugh and go, uh-huh, I mean, would you be able to buy something with it in the short term? And short term could be five, ten years of a catastrophic event. Now, granted, if you have enough supplies and are lucky enough to make it through that first ten years, gold might once again be a standard to trade for the monetary value, but I don't think it will have much in the short term. If people need water, they need food, first aid supplies, whatever, they aren't willing to trade for gold because it's not what they need. So I don't think it will do you much good. My other question is, how do we know if there was such an event that we would once again go back to the gold standard? You know, um, maybe it would be commodity-based, such as, let's say, salt-based. I think Ethiopia was still using that in the 19th century. Um, or perhaps spices, exotic spices, um, to enhance bland food and for their medicinal qualities. Think of the Middle Ages in Europe. Or maybe it would be wheat, 
And in this case, think of ancient Egypt. It may not be gold. So if you are hoarding a bunch of gold with the idea that it will help you out in SHTF, I want you to reconsider. Or at least think about it. I'm only telling you my opinion. My opinion is that first you need to cover your basics. Have your adequate food, water, first aid supplies, bullets, whatever you need. And you might say, well, what is adequate? And that is entirely up to your decision. It could be one month, it could be three months, it could be six months, a year, three years, five years, ten years, whatever. That is up to you to determine. But once you have that and you're debt free, then consider gold, silver, whatever for SHTF. Now, if you're thinking about investing in gold and silver, that is a total different proposition. And I have no idea if that is a good idea or a bad idea. I do say, though, be careful. On so many prepping sites, you'll see advertisements for uh, buying gold and silver as a hedge um, against the economy or SHTF. And please remember, they are trying to profit off your fear. So really look into it to see if this is, in truth, a good investment of your money. I was going to show you, this gold coin does actually have intrinsic value. Because yes, it is chocolate. So it is a food source. And to be honest, this is the only kind of gold I have. I really don't even invest in jewelry. I don't even have pierced ears. So for me, buying up gold and silver is not the way to go. It might be for you though. So I would love to hear your thoughts below. Please comment. And this is Prepper Popery saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, thumbs up if you like this video, and always thank you so much for subscribing. Mmm.